Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadget Hacks, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get floating window notifications on your Galaxy Note 2. So for this application, you don't need root, uh, you actually don't need anything but the application itself, and the application is called Floatify. You can find it for free in the Play Store. When you open it for the first time, you'll go through a short tutorial. Uh, you can, go, you can, uh, you can read it or you can just skip ahead since in this video I'm going to show you guys uh, everything you'll need to know. So if we head into Floatify, you'll have to enable it and uh, it's already enabled for me but once you enable it the first time you'll be asked to uh, go to your settings and uh, give Floatify permissions uh, to mess with your notifications. So uh, it'll, it'll do it automatically so it'll be really easy to use. Uh, from there, there's a lot of settings in here to manage and customize. So the first two here, uh, it's a status bar notification. Uh, you'll see it in here, and there it is. Uh, anytime you want to go back to Floatify, you can tap on it. Um, every time you reboot, you can start the service right after it boots up. There is a pro version. Uh, that one gives you more of the features, but there's already a lot of features on this one. So if you guys want to purchase it, yeah, just tap on there. Um, so now if we go to notifications, so to set everything up, you tap on notification apps and you go through uh, all the, li the list of all of the applications on your device and for which one do you want floating uh, notifications for. So I selected Gmail, uh, Snapchat, messaging, phone, and Twitter. So once you're done, you can only select five in this free version. If you want to select more than five, you'll need to purchase the pro version. So I finished that. Um, these are other setting notification settings you, uh, to show you how many notifications you want to pop up at once. You, know, you can manage that. You can blacklist certain applications from having those show up. Um, you can enable floating pop-up and allow screen interaction while the pop-up is there. And you can also enable lock screen preview. Here are some other uh, actions, but they're grayed out because they're only for the pro version. Uh, in addition, to that stuff, you can customize the way the notifications look. Here are some preset styles. Uh, you can test them all out. And to preview the pop, you can just press preview pop up, and there it is. And they'll show up exactly like that. Um, you can see here that you'll get an app icon, uh, you'll get a title, and then some uh, something below it. So from there, you can change a lot of stuff. You can change the background of the pop up, the position the opacity, the speed it opens in, it's a bunch of stuff. You guys can go through all of that here in style and enable that however you want. I'm going to keep it just simple for now, just for uh, the purpose of showing you guys. Uh, then finally there's advanced and here uh, you can reset all of the settings back to default. So once you're done, now I'm going to uh, receive a notification. Okay, so I just sent myself a text message and I should be receiving it shortly and you will see the notifications appear from the bottom. Uh, you can actually rearrange where you want the notifications to show up. You can have them show up at the bottom or at the top. So you can see here that it shows up at the bottom and I have four new messages. From there you can either swipe it to get rid of it or tap on it to go to your messages. And uh, depending on how many uh, notifications you have, you can uh, have them appear one at a time or have them stacked with up to three. As you can see when I went to Floatify and I previewed it, um, you can see more than just a one and you can have up to like three or four and uh, yeah uh, other than that that's pretty much it uh, everything else is pretty simple like I said just go back to style and you want to edit all the stuff for the notifications you can put them up here uh, change the opacity all that stuff it's a lot to to work with but it's good because uh, customization is good all right well that's it thanks guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and check out the tutorial for more information all right thanks guys